Hello everybody and welcome to the sixth part of our Python and machine learning tutorial series. Uh, in the last video we were uh, talking about how to kind of pull out the data and acquire the data. Now we're going to be talking about uh, how to structure the data and kind of orient it for ourselves. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we are now going to be using uh, pandas. Uh, so uh, in the generation of key stats right here at the top before we begin our for statement or for loop. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to say df for short for data frame equals pandas dot data frame with camel, full camel casing, so capital D, capital F. Um, and then here's where we just specify some starting columns for our, our data frame. So we say columns, columns equals, and this is a list, and we're going to have uh, four elements, so just fill it in. And we're going to have the elements of date, Unix, ticker, and then um, for now we're going to call it DE. Uh, ratio. Later on we'll probably stuff maybe gather into it or maybe we'll put the data frame up here as a you know glow and use it globally. I'm not really sure how we'll do that and then we'll probably you know pass in something like this but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now this will do. Now with Pandas, I don't believe there's a really truly efficient method to appending to a data frame other than the recreation of a data frame object every time. So when you use pandas and pandas data frame, it's actually a relatively quick process, but um, for what we'll be doing when we're pulling this data out and kind of structuring it, it's not the fastest uh, method, but when, when it comes to actually using this data later on, it'll be totally fine. We're just simply using pandas for now to kind of structure the data and we'll actually be outputting it to a CSV file. So there. Um, we're gonna now, let's, let's just get rid of printing the full path and we'll also just get rid of the ticker print. We don't need those anymore. And um, so we've defined our data frame now what we're going to go ahead and do is um, here's our source and I, we can leave source there for now and what we'll try to do instead is we're going to do this. We're going to say try colon. We'll tab over this value statement there. Um, and now we're going to say df equals df.append and in here you append a dictionary. Okay, And whenever you append a dictionary <clears throat> of values you have to say uh, ignore underscore index equals true. So now we're going to append the values. And the way that we do this is we basically just append values in the sense um, that are of our columns. So you would say you would have, you know, we'll have date colon equals something. And then we'll have uh, Unix colon equals something, ticker colon equals something, and then um, D ratio colon equals something. So now we'll fill in uh, date there, Unix here, ticker, and then DE ratio. And now date is going to be equal to date stamp. Unix will be equal to Unix time. Ticker will be equal to ticker. And then DE ratio is equal to value. So it's kind of a long statement there. Let's see if I can, yeah. So that encompasses the whole statement. So if you feel like you're behind or something or you didn't quite get it, pause the video here. This video is 1080p. You can make it full size and you can, you know, kind of look into this. So that is that. Uh, that should be it for df.append. And we do not have an accept yet. So let's throw in uh, accept exception as e. And for now, we'll just pass. Uh, the reason why we'll do this is some companies won't actually have a even a value there for, um, and in fact, what we ought to do is we're going to now actually say we want to convert this value to a float. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Um, 
So sometimes you might get a not available or a blank or whatever. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to convert it to a float. If it does not convert to a float, we'll hit an exception and we'll just pass. We won't even deal with it. So we're not going to bother with anything that's not available or, or not a float. Um, after that, we're all set. Now, what we're going to do is we want to save this uh, to a CSV file. So we're going to say save as the name. And we're going to do gather. And we want to like name right this file. So what would we need to change about gather to make it a proper saved file? Well, we have to get rid of quite a few things. But uh, we'll say gather.replace um, spaces with nothing dot replace parentheses um, with nothing and then we'll basically run the exact same thing only with a, a separate parentheses so this one uh, then we'll go ahead and dot replace any slashes we can't have those with nothing um, and then at the very end we'll do, say plus str <laughs> And that will be the string version of .csv. Um, that's not totally necessary, but anyways, we'll do that. Um, that's going to bother me. We'll just do plus CSV. I'm not quite sure why I put string version of a string. So cool. We will uh, print save. And now, finally, we'll do df.2 underscore CSV as the save. Done. So now we run key stats, and hopefully that will run and give us our save uh, file. So let me delete the one that's existing on my machine. Save, run. Error pandas is not defined. What did I call pandas? Pandas.dataframe. OK, yeah, I wrote pandas. We've, we re imported pandas as PD. Try that one more time. Let's bring this over. Oh, you know what? Shoot, let's uh, cancel that. Uh, this is doing all the stocks. It's gonna, it'll take quite a while. So for each dirt in stock list, one colon five. Now run it. So it'll only do like the first five stocks. Okay, so it saved it as total debt equity.csv. That is this file here. Open it up. Here we have. Um, the actual file here, date, Unix, ticker, DE ratio. This is uh, index, so that's why there's nothing here in a comma. This is the index 0, 1, 2. Um, and then you can see we have all of the values from the company A, AA, Apple, and one for AbV for whatever reason. Um, so now what you can do is you can run uh, just one colon, and that should probably take a, a decent amount of time. I believe it's about 40 seconds or so. So I'll start wrapping up the video. Just kind of save this file. Make sure you have it for all of the companies and you will have basically all of the data that you need. From here, we still obviously have a few other things we want to do. Uh, the major thing we need to do at this point is we have the data, uh, but now we need to label that data as this company is a buy, buy, or this company is a sell. So anyways, that's what you guys have to look forward to. So if you guys have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.